Hi everyone. Good day everyone. My name is Patrick and Advinkola. We are here together with my groupmate, Harvey Neil Serena, to present to you our topic. So, but be, before we um, start our discussion, let me share my screen, Mona. So, so before we uh, formally start, meron ako ng inyandang uh, short activity dito para mabigyan kayo ng mga idea at mga information kung ano nga ba yung mapag-uusapan natin sa aming um, tatalakayin ngayon. So, dito, meron akong inyandang mga jumble words dito. Ang kailangan nyo lang gawin is to hulaan kung ano yung mabubuong word dito. So, sa unang um, jumble words, sa tingin nyo, ano kayang word na mabubuo dito? Anyone who wants to answer? Wow, very good. Ang tamang sagot ay form. Yan. Yan yung unang nabuo natin word sa jumble word natin, which is the form. So how about next, the second? So what do you think the word na, na, na mabubuo natin sa jumble word na to? Anyone who wants to answer? Tama. Ano, ang mabubuong um, salita dyan ay geometric. Yan. Geometric. Yung salita na nabuo dyan sa jumble words na yan. And last, how about this? Ano kaya yung mabubuo nating word dyan? Meron ba mga kaalam kung ano yung mabubuo word dito? Tama ulit. Ang, ang mabubuo nating um, salita dyan ay organic. So I hope na nabigyan namin kayo ng ideas, ano nga ba yung mapag-uusapan nat natin ngayon? So, our topic that we will um, talk about is form. No? Again, my name is Patrick and uh, together with my group meets Harvey Nielsen. So, form. So, pag sinabi natin form, baka niisip nyo, ito yung pinipilapan. So, hindi siya, hindi siya yung pinipilapan. So, in the, ang pag-uusapan natin dito, form in the elements of art. So, ayan. Baka kasi maguluan kayo. So, ano kayang form yung pag-uusapan ni teacher? So, form in, in the elements, in the context of the elements of art. So, ngayon, i-define define muna natin ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin ng form. So, Um, this picture, you can find this to the totco.com. So, according to this, um, um, according to this, form is the element of art that is three-dimensional and has volume, length, width, and height. A form can be geometric or organic. So, pag sinabi natin form, sa form, Masasabi natin form yung isang bagay kapag kapag um, kapag ito ay nakita natin na malaki, may haba, may taas, at may um, kabuuan. No? Kabuuan yung makikita natin. So, a form can be geometric or organic. So, Baka um, nalilito kayo, no? baka, baka uh, nalilito kayo sa, sa part na yan. So, gaya ng, ano, um, gaya ng, um, si, ng nabanggit ni Teacher Rotor sa kanyang topic na shape, no? ang geometric ay 
this is the um, geometry um, geometry that is um, regular shape no ang organic naman this is the free form organic so kung makikita niyo yung picture diyan no yan yung um dalawang klase ng form no Bak, uh, uh, baka kasi namimisin, baka kasi naguguluhan kayo sa dalawa, no? Nabigit, nabigit ko na yung shape. So, sa, sa meaning pa lang, no? Makikita nyo na agad yung difference. So, yan. Tutuloy natin para masala nyo pa siyang maintindihan. So, i-define muna natin kung ano nga ba yung geometric, um, geometric shape. So, geometric shape, um, geometric forms, that are mathematical, precise, it can be named as in basic geometric forms, sphere, cube, pyramid, cone, and cylinder. So, ayan. So, yan yung mga examples ng form. So, gaya nga na naman git ko kanina, no? um, sa part ng diniscuss ni teacher, tutor sa inyo, no, na pinakaiba niya sa um, geometric um, shape no ang ang geometric forms is kumbaga sa um, triangle magiging cone na siya no kasi nga yung kabuuan na mismo yung makikita natin dito yung kabuuan yung bigger picture no and then kung makikita din natin dito yung um, tri uh, yung yung square ay naging cube, yung circle naging cylinder. Naging sphere and then naging cylinder, no? Ayun. So so ito me. So these are the uh, geometric forms na makikita natin at malala at at, nala, at malalaman natin usually sa matema um, sa mathematics, no? Some of that kasi is um how dito nasu nasusukat siya no Nasus nasusukat siya so kaya siya tinawag na they are mathematical no ayan i hope na nabibigyan i hope na nalilinawan na, na, na nakikita niyo yung difference ng geometric shape sa geometric forms na pinag-uusapan natin ngayon so how about the organic forms. So allow me to read. Organic forms are those that are free, free flowing, curvy, sinewy, and, and are not um, symmetrical or easily measurable or named. So ibig sabihin, hindi siya nasusukat. No? Hindi siya nasusukat. Na gaya ng um, geometric forms, ay siya, nasusukat siya. No? Nasusukat siya. Ayop na nagiging clear tayo doon. So, they most often in nature as in, in the shape of flowers, branches, leaves, paddles, clouds, animals, the human figure, and etc. So, this is the examples of the organic forms. So, the same lang din, the same lang din sa, um, sa organic shape, no? Ang organic forms din, gaya ng sa organic shape, is nakikita din siya is ma madalas na naki madalas na naki na nakikita natin siya sa labas no sa sa nature natin sa environment natin no usually yan sa, sa mga paligid-ligid natin so kaya free flowing kaya tinawag siyang free flowing no kumbaga sa sa um, going back sa sa shape na uh, discussion no sa 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 organic shape Ang ginamit na term doon is it is a free form, free form, no? Sabihin wala siyang specific na size, no? Sabihin kahit anong shape pa 'yan, tinatawag siyang organic forms. Di tulad ng geometric forms, 'yun usually yung yung makikita natin na, na regular uh, na, reg, na regular shape, no? And then na the regular um, geometric forms, no? So I hope na nabibigyan na nabibigyan ko kayo ng um na idea no kung ano nga ba yung or yung yung forms 
no and then yung dalawang uri ng um, ng form which is the geomet na the geometric forms and then the organic forms no kung makikita niyo talaga kung, kung makikita niyo diyan ang laki nila no ang laki kasi nga 3D siya no pero pagdating naman sa shape 2D lang siya no kumbaga 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 sa shape panlabas lang yung nakikita no yung mismong size lang na reto square yan lang mismo yung nakikita no pero pagdating sa form pagdating sa form in terms of geometric forms yung kabuuan na mismo yung cube no or box na or box no yung mismong um, kabuuan nga kabuuan so just to give you a um yan ayan ay matatapuan natin sa link na yan so kayo maglalala lahat ng mga uh, pictures na ginamit namin dito ay may mga reference yan so para hindi tayo ma-plagiarize So ayan, just to give you ay ay differences no ng pinagkaiba ng shape and forms. Yung shape, ayan, kung makikita niyo sa unang picture na yan na nasa left side niyo. Ayan, ayan lang siya yung shape na yan. Pero pati sa form, makikita niyo na yung um yung pinaka size talaga na no, yung pinaka kabuuan o yung laki, yung haba o kung gaano man siya kadiit. Sa next picture, gaya nga na nabanggit ko kanina, pagdating sa shape, 2D lang siya. 2D lang. Pero pagdating sa form, 3D na siya. Kasi nga, nakikita natin yung mismong whole picture. Yung whole picture niya. Yung whole picture niya. No? And then, ito na yung pinakalas niya. Yan. Nabanggit ko na rin kanina, na yung, na kung sa shape, circle lang yung, mak yung makikita natin, Pagdating sa form, nagiging square na siya. Kasi nga, yung kabuuan na nga mismo yung nas, makikita natin dito. Sa square, naging cube. Sa triangle, naging pyramid. No? Naging cone. Naging silindro. At marami pang iba. So, these are the examples of, these are the um, major differences ng, um, between the shape and the forms. No? Ayop na nagiging clear sa inyo yun, no? Kung ano nga ba yung forms, no? Kasi ang pinaka-keyword lang dyan, pag sinabi natin yung forms, this is the um, 3D shapes. Pero ang pero ang ang shape, 2D lang siya. No? Forms is 3D, shape is 2D. No? 3D ibig sabihin 3 dimensional no? Kaya na nakikita nyo sa mga screen ninyo, no? yung nasa right side niyo yung pinaka diff yung pa, uh, may pinaka difference niya no ng forms between the shape so kaya ko ginamit na example yung shape kasi nga para hindi natin para hindi natin siya ma misinterpret or um ma may turing na uy parang uh, magkaparehas lang sila pero hindi siya magkaparehas tandaan ang shape um yung pinaka yung pinakalabas lang yung nakikita diyan yung form yung pinakakabuuan na mismo yung pinakaloob na so which is the 3D that that the 3D form so so that will be all for the for that no right now i will give the floor to um teacher Harvin Hill no to, to continue the discussion about Um, form. Okay, so we have the next one. When drawing represent, representationally, the goal is to create the illusion of form. Of course, the goal is to create the illusion. Okay, so from the word illusion, there is a light on it. Okay, so we can create the illusion of form by understanding how light reacts on the objects. So, um, when you say that kind of thing, um, when you draw something, there is a light. Where is the light on it? You should understand where the light came from and what are the things, the shades that you need to have. Of course, the value that you need to um, interact to deal with this, um, with this form of art. Okay, can you please next?
So here we have the examples or the types that oh, when you draw an illusion of form. Okay, so we have highlight, mid-tone, core shadow, reflected light, reflected highlight, and cast shadows. So the light reacts on objects and is communicated to viewers through several factors, adjusting these areas with values of the local color will result in the illusion of form in a drawing or painting. Okay, so here are the list. Let's start with the highlight. The highlight is the area where the light, where light is hitting to the object directly. As you can see in the drawing, there is a light on it. The light is high on that area because the light is hitted in that area. So that is how you understand the light. Of course, the next one is midstone. Is the middle value midtone? I mean, the midtone is the middle value of the local color of the object. So it is the um, when you see the basis from the lightness to darkness. So it is in the middle of it. Okay, so that is where you base on how you understand the lightness of the illustration. The next one is the core shadow. The core shadow is the area that is shaded on the object. So there is a shading that will happen on that area since um, it's when you say shadow, so it's kind of dark because there is no light on it or maybe just a little bit light that is reflected on that part of the drawing. Okay, so the next one we have cast shadow. The cast shadow is the area that is shaded on surrounding objects and surfaces because of black light. So here, um, this is the shadow of the object. Okay, because of the object, the object on it, there is a light, um, maybe above or diagonally to the left or right. So the shadow on it, that is what we call the cast shadow. That is not the object, but that is the shadow of the object. Okay, so it's a little bit, uh, it's a darker part of it because there is no light hidden in there, in that area. Okay, so that is how you understand the illustration or the object that you are going to make. Next. So here, these are the examples that we have that you can create. So as you can see, there are shapes. There are just 2D and 3D. Okay. So those are the examples that you can make or in this activity that we have. Okay, take a look at the pictures. See how, does, uh, how did they make it? How did they understand? How did they illustrate the object that they are going to make? Okay, can we next? Can we next the slide? Okay, so here we go now to our activity. So our activity is, we are going to, oh no, we have the materials that need it in this activity. So the first one, we have pencil, the ruler, eraser, bond paper, and sharpener. Okay, so those are just the basic needs that we, have, that we need in this activity that we have. Okay, so next. Here, draw any objects or favorite thing that you have by using the form of art. Okay, so let's just try that um, you can do a form, I mean, a shape, okay? From the examples that we have, it's better that you create your own. But if um, you, are, you want to try it by using, by using the, the geometric shapes or the, the objects and also the shapes that we have, no, no, not the shape. The form that we have, okay? Not the shapes because shapes is just 2D. So as what Patrick said a while ago, that there are difference between shapes and form. They are not the same. So you need to make a form. So we have the geometric shapes, I mean. Okay, the geometric one. So, so you can use those to make your own uh, in this activity. But also you can do also the objects that you have or a favorite thing that you wanted to 
draw or to understand the light of it. Okay, you can do egg. You can use egg. You can use the glue and you put light on it. So that will be your illustration um, to draw or to understand the light and make it as your activity. Okay? So if you have any question, don't hesitate to tell us. So here are also the examples that we have. Okay, so this is the geometric shapes and the organic shapes. Right? So as you can see, the right side, it's like a paper. It's an organic shape because it's more unnatural. Um, it is not the same exact size of any shapes that we have. And the organic one and the geometric one is like a, here. We have sphere, the cylinder. Okay, so it's it depends on you and how you make your own art. Okay? So, Mr. Patrick? I think that would be all for today. Yeah, this this would be all for this lesson. And if you have any concerns or questions, don't forget or don't hesitate to approach us. Thank you so much for listening. I am Carvinel Pisarinha and my partner, Patrick Advincula. Okay, so thank you so much for listening. Thank Bye. them, Patrick. Bye. Goodbye.